we are now at the North Center here in Yesheim and you know I'm in the process of selling the car right now and you know, we want to know the condition of uh, Optimus Prime after the two, well, almost 218,000 kilometers. So that's why I came here because these guys they are expert on cars and they're going to test and find out uh, if there's any rust problems, damage, how, how the car's condition is. Yes, yeah, so right now I have uh, Thomas with me here. Uh, you will test. Uh, yeah, we are starting with the test drive okay. and check the conditions on the car and uh, see that everything is working fine. Uh, check the brakes and uh, the steering and uh, so it's nothing uh, unusual with, with the car. Okay. So the test drive is, uh, is a very important uh, checkpoint on the test. So uh, it tells us a lot about uh, the condition on the car. So uh, I'm just going to take a quick ride, ride a few kilometers uh, to check the condition. Now I'm going to speed up a little bit to check the brakes, if you see if it's some vibration or something. So uh, I'm going to take it to about 80 and brake down. And uh, the brakes uh, is in great condition. Uh, no vibration. Uh, the steering is okay. It's uh, stable, uh, don't uh, take to the right and to the left when I let uh, do the steering, uh, take my hands off the steering. So, uh, so long it's, uh, it seems fine, everything's okay so, so far. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, now we, we drive it on this ramp and we have some, uh, this is, it's a roller thing for checking the brakes, yes. So, and then I think uh, Thomas needs to explain what we are going to do. Yeah. So now we are checking the brakes to see if there is any difference between the left side and the right side and see if uh, that's everything is stable and it's not, uh, nothing is uh, pulsing. And this is... Uh, this is perfect. Great condition on the brakes in the front. Now I'm gonna check the brakes back. We're starting the brake test and uh, we slowly press the pedal to see if there are any difference between left side and the right side. And it's perfect. Nothing uh, unusual with the brakes. We are checking the headlights. Uh, we're using uh, mirrors on the wall to see that uh, the turning lights, uh, fog lights, uh, high beam and low beam is uh, functioning all right. And we also have a mirror on the back. So I checked the lights uh, on the back of the car. Oh, you used those mirrors here? Yeah, huh? there is a mirror on the front there and there is a mirror on the, on the gate behind us. Okay. So uh, I used the mirrors to check that uh, the, the light is working. So uh, there's nothing wrong with the light. I will also check the, the mirrors outside, right and left side, that it's folding uh, correctly. Uh, we are activating the heating on the back window and the mirrors in front to check that uh, it's heating up. It takes a second or two. And it's starting to get warm, yes. Wow, already? And, yeah, and I'm going to check uh, behind afterwards. I'm going to let it uh, stand on. Uh, it's very important that we check the, all the electric switches to see if the windows are going correctly, ups and down. And we do the same back on the car, in the back seat, to check that uh, it's working. The switches uh, in the back door I'm checking when I go, go out of the car and, uh, and go inside in the back. We're just uh, checking the heat uh, function on the back window uh, to check if the it's uh, warming up and it's uh, it's working fine yeah
Uh, we are checking now the function of the air condition and the heating system in the car. We turn it on low to check if it's uh, blowing cold, fresh air. And we're using a, a temperature meter to check. And you see it's dropping three, two. It's about three, four degrees. And that's, uh, that's working fine. And I also feel that it's uh, blowing cold and fresh air. So uh, I have in my mind that uh, the filter for the air conditioning is also clean and have been changed. It's nothing smells, uh, uh, it's no smell that uh, tells me that it's something's wrong with the air conditioning. So, uh, so long it's working fine. Yeah, we are now checking the heating in the seats and uh, I already feel that it's uh, warming up. Uh, I'm also checking that the uh, heat function uh, the fan is blowing warm uh, and it's, uh, it does. And all the adjustment on the panel is, uh, is working fine. Uh, so now it's uh, about 40 degrees and that's uh, very good. Yes, we're checking the A, A and B and C stop. Uh, pillars, yeah. pillars, yes, for damage and checked if uh, the painting is uh, it's okay and there is no damage in the and you see the Tesla have that have done some uh, yeah adjustments uh, and it's very good. There's, there's some um, some tape. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, type. And, and this one. Yeah, it's to protect. The, uh, so it doesn't gonna hurt the painting and uh, go through the paint. Mm. So uh, they had uh, done some uh, adjustments and that's good. Everything seems fine so far. We're checking that uh, all the electric function on the car is uh, working. And uh, see that it uh, fits correctly. And. Uh, Just uh, checking the, the cables for damaging. See if it's uh, no damage on the cables. Okay, so here we have the VIN. Uh, what they call it is chassis number. And you see, it's been engraved into the chassis. So you cannot trust the, um, the chassis number in the windscreen because you can just buy an, a new number on, the, on eBay and replace it. But here, it's way harder to, uh, to, you know, uh, to, to fake this one because then you have to somehow uh, know, sand it down and put some new number here. And you see, it's supposed to match the chassis number uh, on the document. And you can see that you know, it looks original. Uh, there hasn't been any changes here because this is of course in case of a fraud or something or yeah so uh, you guys also check that one yeah yeah we're going to take a test from the brake flue and uh, make sure that its uh, condition is uh, is great uh, it's uh, it seems like this is uh, changed it's uh, very clear and it's um, no uh, it no, uh, uh, it seems very good. So we're going to take a test, and we're going to take it to the uh, a test station and cook it to see if it's uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're putting the brake fluid in the tester, and uh, we're going to cook it, and uh, we're going to see how much it. Uh, and it's starting to raise. That's the temperature of the. Cooking, you see, it's uh, getting smoke here. Mm. Yeah. About 180. Then we say it's uh, have to be changed. This is over 200, so it's uh, very good. If you are braking hard and the brake fluid is starting to cook, you will lose the brakes. That, that's why we're doing this test to make sure that uh, it's uh, keep this temperature. So it's very good. We are going to check the headlights on the car to see if it's, uh, the light is uh, shining correctly on the road. So we're using this, uh, this computer to check the light. And we have to do some adjustment uh, 
to make sure it's everything is fine and we have to push this this is the left headlight and we take it to the left side and let the light shine into the yeah it seems good it should be some adjustment on the headlights it's uh, nothing wrong with the light you see it's uh, working fine in the but it's the yellow line here it has to be you see this uh, red mm -hmm. uh, the tells the uh, they yeah. have to adjust the light a little bit. Oh. So it's uh, not much. The blue line here, it tells us what the light should be. And the yellow line is a little out of the blue line. So uh, it's not much, but it's, uh, we have to check it. Yeah. Now we're checking the fog lights in the front. And uh, the computer tells us that uh, it's a little bit too high. You see the red uh, points down on the yellow line. It should be in between the two blue lines or a little bit lower. Yeah. Now we're checking the left side and you see the fog light is a little bit too high on this side mm. uh, also. So uh, the lights has to be adjusted a little bit. Uh, it's nothing wrong with the light. It's uh, working fine and the, the lamps are, is uh, not damaged or something, but uh, it has to be made uh, adjustment on the lights. Yeah, so I mean, it's not a production fault. It's just that no, no. over time, it kind of yeah, goes it, uh, out of alignment. Yeah, because uh, the, we, the car is changing. Uh, when you drive, uh, uh, when you take it out new, and you started to drive, all uh, the, yeah, the car is uh, changing. So it has to be some adjustment on the uh, at the time, one yeah. time. Yeah. Mm. So this is the, um, the high beam the test? The high beam test, yes. And also here we see that it's a little bit too high. Uh, it's almost correctly, but uh, I, uh, I want you to take an adjustment of the lights in the front of the car. Yeah, we have now lifted the car and we are going to check the battery package on the, on the car to see if there is some damages, damage. And, uh, we are going to take a look all over the battery package. See, there are some scratches here. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, uh, but this doesn't mean anything. Uh, so this is okay, but uh, we don't allow any damage. Uh, some scratches is okay, that uh, is uh, on everyone, but uh, we look for damages. So no damage despite the off-roading, huh? Yeah, it seems uh, very good. <laughs> All right, now this is a bit noisy. They're doing the cross, cross check, which is that um, they will look for slack. Oh, okay, let's move a little bit. They will look for slack in uh, ball joints and the undercarriage. You see, we had the car raised up, so the car is still resting on, uh, on its wheels, like it should be on the road. Yeah, so it's now checking for slack. Let me see, this is interesting. I want to find out if anything happened during the, uh, the off-roading. Uh... Go closer, see what it's doing. And we also look for damages on the, the brakes uh, when we have it uh, in this position. And here you see it's uh, everything is uh, is fine. Yeah, good. So looks uh, looks fine. No damage on the on the wheels. Very tight. Uh, 
and we look on the suspension to see if there is some leak. Uh, if there is some leak, it uh, has to be changed, but uh, this is dry and uh, seems very fine. A little bit of rust there, right? In there? Yeah, on the, uh, the, that's uh, what we call a spindle. Okay. Uh, that's steel, mm -hmm. uh, so it's, uh, it's rusting. On, you see that, uh, that on every car, so that's no, uh, no fault. We are checking the bearings uh, for damages. Uh, we use this one. It's very tight, so it's okay. We are using uh, some special equipment to lift the car. It's very important that you lift it correctly. On the you, jack points. Yeah. On the jack points, yes. Yeah. You can't lift on the battery package. You have to lift on the jack points. So that's why we use these yellow ones, to lift it correctly. Now the wheeling are in the air. So we're going to load the car and uh, load the car and check for uh, bearings and uh, some slack in the in the wheels. Pads and the disc are very good. Checking for leaks on the steering, the power steering. It has to be tight and no leaks. Oh, it seems very good. And we're also checking the load index. So you see here we have 105 W, uh, and we also check it against the documents. Mm. And so the front is supposed to be minimum 102. So mm. we are within that one, and the speed is W. Yeah, yeah. so 270 almost. You see, it's W there, so it's uh, okay. Yeah, and what about the back? back okay, the back we have 275, 45, uh -huh. 110. 110. Yeah, so that's. Uh, 110 and the back here is supposed to be minimum 106. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's a good. Hmm. Okay, now we are testing the trailer. Uh, the trailer hitch uh, connector, so you see we have just a cable there. And this is just for testing. Turn signals, brake light. Hmm. Oh, that's a backup light. Oh. Right now, um, we are checking just uh, the cosmetics about the car. So, uh, looking for scratches or yeah, minor defects. So here, actually, you see that uh, uh, parts of the PPF has been damaged here. And maybe part of the paint, I'm not sure, but... And also there's a dent here. And this is caused by the towing hook here. <laughs> so in the past, I've been doing some stunts with the towing stuff. So, unfortunately, uh, it's a little bit too tight here, yeah. And then here, oh yes, also a uh, little damage. Uh, I'm not sure if it's at the bumper or... It, it looks like it's gone through the painting. Oh uh, yes. Because it, it's a black uh, under, you see? It's actually, yeah, they, so, they cut it away here. Yeah. So actually, the, the, this one is without film now. Yeah. So that was, of course, my mistake. Um, a little bit scratched there. Yeah. And also we have a little bit... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the uh, paint damage. Yeah. So it's actually... The paint has been chipped off here. A little bit. It's because of the, the front wheel is throwing sand. Mm. Uh, and it's uh, a little bit higher here. So the, the sand or stone, small stones particles takes uh, the painting. Yeah, I see there's a gap here. Uh, the, the, the yeah. Tesla panel gap. <laughs> and, uh, and actually this door here is slightly more flush than that one. And 
I think one thing that could have improved this was if we had the mud uh, uh, flap here. Absolutely. Yeah. And a, li a little bit of adjustment on the front door had been good because it's a little bit lower than the, mm. the back door. Yeah. So uh, the sand comes through here and makes this. Mm. Okay. And you have a little bit damage on oh. this. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what happened there. Also, this part here seems to be a little bit uh, off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> it, seem, it seems that it's missing this part. Oh, yeah, yeah. So mm. it's, uh, it's going to have to change. If you want to change it, you have to change this one. Yeah, the whole part there. Yeah, yeah it's this probably... It go, goes up to here, so... Yeah, so of course this is not covered by warranty because it's wear and tear. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now we find a look at the results. So um, here we have, uh, well, it's, it's an, in Norwegian, so I can explain to you better. Let me zoom a little bit in here. So it says that, well, we didn't, I didn't bring the winter uh, tires. So that one is missing. Uh, the rim, yeah, we have some, uh, some damage in the rim. Uh, and then uh, paint, also a little bit of uh, paint damage. Uh, bumper has some damage in the front, uh, also some, um, uh, s yeah, I'm not sure, wheel arches and stuff. Uh, so that's outside. Light, we need some adjustment in the lights, like you mentioned. And then, yeah, okay, the, the reflex here, <laughs> we need to take off that cover. It's not legal and it's not safe also. So, you know, I will not get, um, a ticket for it, but uh, uh, if in case there's a control, they they require to take it off and then bring it in again for for check. All right, let me see uh, documentation. Well, that's this is the problem with Tesla is that um, you cannot get uh, documentation from the the, the service history. <laughs> they will not give you that one. Um, all right, uh, seat we have a little. Uh, a little damage in the back seat there, so uh, yeah, that was caused by me. And then let's see, what is this? Um, okay, paint uh, some yeah, some dent from a towing hook in the front. We have uh, a little bit of uh, yeah, some some scratches in the door sills. Uh, let me see, dirt track, venstre for the. Oh, okay, that one. That, yeah, that one is the yeah the, the damage in the, the seat, and then just normal wear and tear on the seats. Okay, yeah. and then this is the condition we have test drive the car. Okay, you did all right. Eighty kilometers per hour, uh, eleven degrees Celsius. Okay, it was dry. And, uh, the car was clean outside. Yeah, so. and this is all the checkpoints. Okay, uh, the green one here is okay. Mm -hmm. The red one is the, the same comments that we have here. Okay. So uh, all the com comments on the the red ones you find oh. you all, all already gone through that. So but you see that most of them are green, fortunately. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, all right. Okay. Let me see. Oh, this one. Okay. Uh, can you explain what all of this is? Uh, the yeah, the brake the, the brake disc. Brake disc. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they are uh, most truly changed, as you say. Yeah, they've been. So they are look like they are new. Okay, and then we have yeah the braking here. So yeah, this is the test result uh -huh. from the brake test we we took in the start, uh -huh. uh, and it's uh, hundred percent in the front, three hundred on both sides, and Before. left and right side back four hundred twenty. So that's. Uh, Perfect. Okay, so it's good. Uh, yeah, so yeah this, very good. So the, the, the number here, 300, is the, what is the, the yeah, number that, of kilos? That was the, the kilos or the, yeah. that we measure before the, the wheel are locked. Okay, so, uh, yeah. so naturally the front wheels, this is uh, F for front and B for back. Yeah. So the front wheel needs less uh, power, less... Um, They're locking power, yeah. before the back wheels, yeah. before the, so you, you can go mm -hmm. straight. So normal, and then this is the boiling point for the brake um, fluid. fluid. Yeah. yeah, so it's very good. Very good. Uh, the tire uh, depth, uh, I mean the tread, uh, yeah. Yeah, Okay. Very good. Summer, summer tires, uh, yeah. This is the air condition uh, condition. Okay. 
So uh, when it was 22 degrees Celsius inside, uh, the air conditioning was uh, 4 degrees Celsius. So yeah, that's very good. So, yeah. Uh, okay. That's uh, and uh, the cables for the yeah two uh, charging cable. Yeah. And then the system scan. Yeah. And we open. don't uh, get a license from Tesla to do come inside the system oh. because they are they are blocked. Hmm. That's why we have to imagine that it's uh, not available for us. Yeah, so was that all? That's all. So uh, the car, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. 200 kilometers, 200,000 yeah. kilometers. So uh, I'm a little bit surprised uh, the condition of the car is very good. I have, uh, I have seen worse. So this car is, uh, I can recommend to buy this car actually. Mm, so you mean the, the, red, the red points? It's it's more minor, you know. Yeah, it's, not it's major. just co co cosmetic things. Yes. So uh, technically, the car is in good shape. Wow, good. Yeah, nice. So, uh, well, I'm a little bit surprised, but uh, I gave it a thumb up. All right, it was a pretty long video, but uh, I think it was very interesting because you know, I've I've had this test before in my fossil car. It was the Renault Laguna? Uh, so I had the same test. Uh, you know, just. It's called sale test, but there's also an equivalent uh, uh, buyer's test. Uh, and you know, just get the test. And the, the clue with the test is that you have someone, some experts checking it to see the condition of the car uh, so that the buyer can, can just, basically the buyer could look at the document and figure out whether this is a safe buy or not. So um, very good. Um, Unfortunately, <laughs> as you guys saw, there were no big damages or whatever. There was a minor uh, stuff that has to be fixed, like uh, the, the lights or everything. But yeah, so good stuff. And also the, the guy, uh, Thomas, who tested here, he was quite surprised and impressed that uh, everything was still very tight and the, the car was in so good condition after over 200,000 kilometers. So again, good stuff, good stuff. So um, next up is that uh, next episode, I will deliver this to uh, Marcus Biel and then he will just prepare it and hopefully try to sell it. And by the way, I'm not missing a, a, a nut, I mean I'm not missing a bolt on the wheel on the other side. It's just um, a cap, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I think that will be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.